So, you know, we've had a great stretch of nice sunny weather. Mm -hmm. And now that we're uh, in the warmer season, we're downing a lot of ice cold beverages. That's right. But, okay, did you know the ice in your glass can actually affect your drink's flavor? Oh. Yeah. So when you yeah. think about it, you may have cloudy ice versus clear ice mm -hmm. or ice that has a certain odor. Yes, it does make a difference. <laughs> and today we're going to explain why. We stop by the Beacon Showroom, our expert in home appliance and electronics. cold drinks but we don't often think a lot about ice and so we are here with Scott at Beacons because there's a lot of difference between ice and healthy ice versus plus healthy ice and ice that tastes good and ice that doesn't taste good big difference a lot of people are used to this type of ice Rachel that comes out of their freezer it's a half moon shaped cube it's cloudy and a lot of people don't understand how that ice is made or where it's stored. There are a lot of options to ice in terms of ones that are pure and clear and different sizes and shapes, how they're made and how they're stored. So when we built our Grand Rapids store, one of the things we did was put an ice bar in mm -hmm. that has all the different types of ice so that people can actually taste and see the different types that are available. I love that you have demonstrations where people can walk in and experience this because once you see it, you really realize how important this is. Obviously, this is very clear and this is cloudy. Right, and that comes from how they're made. In a traditional ice maker that you have in your freezer, it has a mold that it fills with water mm -hmm. and then that water freezes and then it kicks the ice out into your bucket. The problem is that it freezes all at once or from the outside in and it traps in the impurities and the air in the water. It also absorbs a lot of odors from your freezer. If you think about your freezer and your refrigerator and you've got your leftovers from last night or different things that might not smell real great, and you have a fan inside of that refrigerator freezer that's constantly moving air mm -hmm. across not just your food, but also your ice. So when that ice is freezing and while it's being stored, it's constantly having odors fanned over it. So what happens is those get absorbed into your ice cube. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, if you wonder how bad that tastes, try taking the ice out of your freezer, put it in a glass, and let it set until it melts, and then take a taste of it. You'll be surprised at really how poor that ice tastes because of how it's made and how it's stored. Yeah. I know by getting to see your ice bar that this ice that we see here, the clear ice, in really interesting shapes, these all come from ice machines instead of an ice maker that's inside your freezer. Correct. We call an ice maker the small unit that goes inside your freezer. We call an ice machine the standalone units that are designed just to make ice. Mm -hmm. One of the advantages to them is that they don't have food inside of them. It's just there to store your ice and to make your ice in the best way possible. So that's why we call them an ice machine. Sure. And then the size of this, you can really have a lot of ice on hand. Nothing is worse than going to a party or some place where you run out of ice because so much is being consumed. Correct. And in a lot of refrigerators today, the ice buckets are getting smaller and smaller. So that means that not only it doesn't make ice very fast, but it doesn't store much. So you can run out very quickly. An ice machine actually stores a tremendous amount of ice, but even better than that, it makes a lot of ice. So it replenishes very quickly when you use it. So let's get pouring to really show everyone the difference between this and what we have here. What we have here is the traditional ice out of your freezer. And what you'll notice is the amount of foaming difference between the two types of ice. When you have a pure ice cube like the Scotsman Cube, you don't have the same impurities in it, which means your carbonation is far less which means that your drink is going to taste better and it's going to have more of that effervescence. Yeah, I'd much rather have what's in this glass rather than this. But what's interesting is that you have so many different options when it comes to the style of ice that you can make. 
in an ice machine. You're right. And, you know, the funny thing is most people have a definite opinion about what type of ice they like. And that's why we have the ice bar to show them all the different styles. It allows them to pick the right ice for what they like to drink, whether you're someone that likes water, juice, soda, or a single malt scotch, you can find the right type of cube that helps your drink to taste its best. This is really interesting, and it's really nice that people can come into here, the Beacon showroom, and really see the difference in what they're consuming and appreciate what you have with their own eyes. That's really important because yeah. people who want to have an ice that can absorb the liquid and be chewable versus the large cube that doesn't melt as fast, they really like to see and taste the difference. Yeah. Well, thank you for the demonstration. You're welcome. We are here at Beacon. Very enlightening, yeah, isn't yes, it, I ladies? It, it really is. Well, Jordan and I were both looking at that and saying, <laughs> wow, how come our ice looks like that? <laughs> but right. it could look so nice and clear. And yeah. you can definitely tell when you taste it, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. Put that on the list of things that you don't necessarily think about day no. to day. But once you have the information, you're like, huh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. And then plus that, I love the different shapes of ice. They look cool, but more than that, the ice shape is also functional, as we showed in the story. So if you would like to see an ice demonstration in person, Beacons would be happy to do it for you. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to know about ice machines and how to serve the best drink possible in your home. Beacons has showrooms on 28th Street in Grand Rapids and on Washington Avenue in Grand Haven. How about a road trip the next 90 degree day? We'll go like to the ice it. bar. Sounds good. We'll like find that. some icy cold beverages. That sounds fantastic. In Grand Haven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds good. I'm then in. we'll head to the beach. <laughs> Wonderful idea. Yeah. We have a lot of 8 West ahead, so don't go away. We'll be right back.